Australians of Reddit, what is the scariest encounter you've had with one of the native animals? I had just come home after a long bicycle ride. I took my shoes off and just forgot to bring them inside afterwards. Two days later I was about to go on another bicycle ride so needed my shoes, I put my left one on with no problems, but felt something a little squishy when putting my foot into my right shoe. I immediately took my foot out to discover it to be covered in at least 100 baby spiders and a larger red back spider came scuttling out of the shoe, don't leave your shoes outside, or at the very least check them unlike me. I was driving on a straight unsealed road through barren land and had not seen anything on the road or to either side for about half an hour when I had to decelerate heavily to avoid driving into a group of half a dozen emus who were startled and who scattered in all directions. While I was mowing saw a snake, thought it was a red-bellied black snake, get them all the time, so I took a stick and hit the ground near it to scare it off, fluffing thing arced up hissed and charged at me. I took off, it was a tiger snake. Came home from work and went to step outside to enjoy the garden when I noticed an intense buzzing. I look down and there's a spider wasp and a huntsman spider having a Godzilla, king of the monsters showdown, wrestling all over the patio area, the spider wasp stung the huntsman into submission and dragged it over to a hole in the wall. I later learned that the spider wasp lays her eggs in the barely living body and uses it as an incubator. Nice.in Another huntsman incident, the one I keep in my garage dropped into my lap from the sun visor in my car as I reversed out of my driveway. I screamed for a bit before scooping him up and popping him back in the garage. I warned him not to get in my car again. Anyone watching would have found a grown man lecturing a fluffing huge spider a bit weird. I do generally like them though, hence not killing it, I've also been chased by an emu while cycling a few times. They're fluffing deranged. Lived in the outback, was just minding my own business walking past the local cinema and a six-feet emu came running out from behind a tree and nearly knocked me down, scared the absolute garbage out of me. Follow up, emus were not supposed to be in the township, there was a fence to keep them out, so town services had to forcibly evict it. They achieved this by driving up close to it, throwing a noose around its neck, quickly winding up the windows and slowly escorting it out of town, bad idea, they are surprisingly strong and it kicked in the whole side of the vehicle in the process. Came home after two weeks away. My parents picked me up, unloaded my suitcase, loaded it up themselves, then left on holidays, that night, I was sleeping on my stomach, and a possum came in through the window and landed on the soles of my feet. I'm guessing he had pushed through the fly screen while I was away and had been sleeping in my room. All I knew is something big and hairy landed on me. I lashed out, and he went flying across the room, I left pretty quick and slept on the couch, and hash x200b, another one didn't scare me, but the wife. I saw two or three baby huntsman spiders about the size of a pin head outside my bedroom. I saw maybe a dozen more in my bedroom. Then I walked into my ensuite. Huntsmen's have about 200 babies at a time, and the remaining 185 were all in there hanging out. The wife made me go out at 11 p.m. for bug spray, and still didn't sleep in the bedroom for another four nights. About five years ago I was fully envenomated by a King Brown while working on a remote mine site in the Pilbara. Wa, I had all sorts of side effects from the antivenin, including blindness. It took two years to fully recover. Went into my shed, no lights, only to find out it was full of red backs with webs in every corner. Now I am not scared of spiders but holy Christ, half a bloody dozen were crawling all over me lucky I had some friends that were more than happy to smack them off. Uh, I'm not from from Australia but lived in Brisbane for a year while studying abroad, was walking to the bars with a friend in the evening, quite dark out even on suburb city streets, so I pulled out my smartphone camera light, just as I do so, I pan up to rustling in a nearby tree and there is a giant bat on a tree that turns around, and spreads its wings like it's Batman. We ran out of there darn fast, after that, along with spider webs, I no longer walk on side walks into the suburbs, even during the day. A leech attached itself to my eyeball while I was hiking in the rainforest. My friends wanted to piss on it, or light a match over it, but neither solution seemed ideal. So I waited while it wiggled about, filled up with blood, and finally dropped off an hour later. The following week I went on a date with one of the guys I met on that hike, even though I still had a zombie eye from the leech bite. Ten years on, last year, he and I went back to the place where he first looked me in the eye with that leech wiggling about, and we were married in the rainforest with our friends standing by, edit, because you didn't want to see it, or did you?
opening square bracket, three dingoes rolled up on me and my sisters on Fraser Island, dad chased them off with a big stick before they could do anything besides make all three of us garbage ourselves. Had a few run-ins with brown snakes, but that's always an oh garbage stand still until they leave kinda situation, they mind their own business and usually just bail if they know you're there, sure they're super venomous, but from their point of view you're a massive thing that might be a predator and they don't want to stick around to find out, and hash x200b, the scariest wildlife encounter for me by far though was Billy and hash x200b, Billy was a huntsman that lived in my car's driver side mirror. I'd see him every now and then, he'd usually crawl into the gap between the mirror and the casing whenever I opened the door or just hang out on the mirror itself until I started the car and the vibrations spooked him back into the mirror casing, he was chill, never really bothered me, ate the previous tenants, smaller, less friendly spiders, and I'd like to think we were becoming fast friends. At the time I was working long hours at a night club and would head home at like 6am, usually dead on my feet, the drive home was always a blur. This particular morning I was in full routine mode, get in the car, roll a cigarette, put down the window, light it, start the car, head home, while I was leaving the almost empty car park, Billy made his move. And hash x200b, Billy climbed across from the mirror, through the open window and onto my dashboard before I even knew he was there, by the time I saw him, he was crawling onto my steering wheel and breaking every boundary we had set in our friendship, the mirror was his space, the car itself was mine. My knee-jerk sleep-deprived response was to jerk the wheel to get him off, and with my attention completely on Billy I didn't see the one other person in the car park who was walking to their car. When jerking the wheel didn't move him, I flicked Billy off the wheel and straight back out the window, did I hit the other person? No, I missed them by about 5 meters, but I the scary parts here were that my gut reaction was to jerk the wheel which is so ridiculously stupid, and that I didn't see the other person because I was distracted, I could have hit them. I got lucky, and it was a bit of a wake-up call for me about driving tired. And hash x200b, I don't know the full story here, from Billy's perspective, but at the time it looked like he was pushed to his breaking point, in the moment I thought it was jealousy of how much space I had in the car compared to his little home in the mirror casing, but looking back on it there are a lot of reasons he might have wanted to come in. He might have been cold, or curious or just wanting to come say hi, he was a chill spider and really easy to get along with, I should have given him the benefit of the doubt. I regret my rash decisions because now I'll never know. I never saw Billy again after that morning, but I hope he's found another car to live in with someone who treats him right. Being swooped by magpies and even plovers, they are very territorial and annoying as fluff, when they swoop they don't generally hit you but get close enough for you to hear them swoop next to your head. Hubby and a couple of mates were swimming in the darn in their jocks when someone yelled out crocodile, but it was an 8 feet black snake swimming out after them on top of the water, hubby went back to the gum tree to get his clothes and the black snake had curled up next to their pile of clothes, they walked about 2 miles back home in wet jocks, barefoot. The three of them went back oin the tractor with a shotgun but couldn't find the snake, he also reckons he saw a black panther in the bush, but I'm skeptical. I was sleeping in my bed and suddenly woke up for no reason, I looked around for a bit before noticing the largest huntsman spider I had ever seen in my life clinging to the ceiling right over my head and as soon as I saw it I panicked and leapt out of bed and not 10 seconds later the spider had dropped down onto my pillow right where my head would have been. That incident literally gave me arachnophobia. In bed, felt something scutter over my chest, turned on the light, saw nothing. Then as I went to turn the light off saw a giant fluffing huntsman crawl under the mattress. I was so tired that I left it but it still freaks me the fluff out. Okay, and hash x200b, school canoeing camp out on the Murray River, approximately 6 plus hours from civilization, taking a garbage in a hole in the dark, loud thumping behind me getting closer and closer and closer, fluffing kangaroos just seeing what's up. Best garbage I ever had, and hash x200b, walking through long grass like a moron with friends, accosted by a large brown snake, turns out I can run pretty fast, and hash x200b, dad clearing weeds out the back of my parents house. Accosted by a large brown snake, fastest I have ever seen dad move, and hash x200b, neighbor knocks on our door, tell us he just saw a large brown snake go into our yard, dad goes to look, accosted by a large brown snake. Neighbor runs it over as he is backing out the driveway and hash x200b, at friend's house. His dad starts getting excited, accosted by a large brown snake on the front lawn, kills it with a shovel in some stubby shorts and thongs, way too casual about it. 
Largest, thickest snake I've seen in person to this day, old boy just chopped it into three bits with a tiny shovel and hash X200B, basically, you don't have to look far for a poisonous snake. I was swimming, bathing in a river when I saw a snake get into the water a few meters away. And it was coming towards me, and it could swim a lot better than I could. Now snakes are bad enough when you can run away, but can't really do that in this situation, so I pissed myself as the snake passed besides me and got out of the river on the other side. And then I decided swim time, and really all time in the bush, was over.